after having him during pregnancy and after having him hyperpigmentation said hello So look y'all i got me some more well y'all never saw these don't mind that stain on the wall i tried to get it off but it won't come off y'all never saw these before but i have them i have bought these like weeks ago and then this one just came in last week i've been into pompous really like lately and that one is just another bunch over there I've been into pompous lately and um I was like let me buy me some pompous because like you know to like make the room like look a little different. 
But yeah, so if y'all don't follow me on Instagram and on TikTok, y'all need to go follow me on the... Ow, sir. Y'all need to go follow... Stop this. So it's been a bunch of time later. I cooked some rice, made some dinner or whatever. These are... This is eggplant. I know it looks a little mushy, but it tastes so good. And this is some leftover chicken that we had from last night. And I just put them all together and... We ate, me and him. Look at him over there. We ate. I had to open up the windows to let some air out. Did the dishes. Got some in the dishwasher. Um, and yeah, I'm about to wind down. Unwind. And take him a shower. Take myself. Sorry, Poppy, I'm going to turn it off. I'm about to turn it off, puppy. Okay? We're gonna take a shower. Yay! I'm sorry. Papa, let's go take a bath. Let's go take a bath. We're gonna take a bath! See, he, he knows. He's trying to take off his clothes. Yeah, go. We're gonna go take a bath. He's trying to take off his clothes. But I gotta tidy up first. Gotta tidy up first. Um, Put these blinds. Um what put the windows shut the windows and turn off the blinds and then head in the bathroom so we could wind yeah. down so yes i'll come back on see y'all in a sec and just like that i already tidy up let's go come on let's go we're gonna take a bath bye bye <laughs> Bed is a mess. I had a candle burn it in here. But it's like almost done. Come on, Papa, let's go. Ma, ma. You cold? I'm sorry. Hi, you. I don't usually put powder on it, but tonight I was like, I want him to be fresh. Look who's fresh. Look who's fresh and clean. Papa. I need to put some castor oil in his hair. This boy, he just keep, if y'all see his hair patchy, not that I need to explain or anything like that, but he has a bad habit of pulling out his hair. I think I said that before in another one of my videos. Um, Yeah, he just has a habit of pulling out his hair. His hair was much longer, but I had to cut it because it was so patchy. And he still pulls it out, so... As y'all can see on that side over there. But, um, yeah. He over there playing with his shadow. But, yeah. Watch him, watch him. Where you going? I need to invest into a camera. Um, a camera. A camera. Because, look at this boy. I mean, he been knowing how to do this, but he's so swift with it. And I'm taking a shot about. I'm breaking out so do your little dance that you was just doing. Be careful. He was just dancing. Did I show you my pompous plant? I think I did. It, the camera doesn't do it any justice. It looks so blurry on camera. But it's so pretty in person. Especially when the sun is out. Ugh, beautiful. I'm sitting here watching Kyra. I watched this video already, but for some reason it came it came up after watching another video. So I just let it play. But yeah, what she was talking about in this video is some real like it's crazy um how like the dating scene. Hold on, let me flip the camera. But yeah, so back to what I was saying, um so what Kyra was basically talking about in that video, um, and it's so unfortunate because like girls like her, like she's so successful, she's beautiful, you know, she seems very like a nice person, like great energy and stuff like that. Obviously, I don't know her personally, but you know, from watching her videos, you could tell a lot, you know by seeing someone and you know, and people always a lot of people be saying that, um, 
a lot of people say that she is the same way same way she is online is the same way that she is when they meet them so um what i was saying was that like it's crazy how like the dating scene is out there right now because i've actually been in a relationship ever since i was 17 so like the person that i've been i'm with right now which is my husband i've been with him since high school so um i met him in grade 12 and it's been it's about to be 10 years now you know it's it's been 10 years of me knowing him because i met him when i was 16 and i'm 26 now um but dating wise it's been nine years like 10 years next year that we've been dating and it's just crazy to me like how the dating scene is and i hear a lot of people talk about it it's not just kyra like i hear it from male and female males and females like they say like guys say that so yeah y'all basically what i was saying was that both guys and girls say the same thing about dating which is that either gender takes dating seriously and takes marriage seriously so what i was basically saying when i mentioned my husband was that if you have somebody if you've met if you had somebody that you met a long time ago and y'all are still dating and things get hard you know if it's worth it just that's that would be my advice if it's worth it just you know stick it out and try to work it out with that person you know granted sometimes time and you know history does not mean that you get you have to stay with that person just because y'all been together for so long but basically all i'm saying is that like yes there is someone for there is someone for everyone but however the way that people's minds work nowadays it's like difficult to find someone to commit so it's like you could be beautiful you could be a good person you know and it's like these dudes are still gonna dog you out or like a female is still going to like for guys a female is still going to try to use you like whether it's for your money or something like that but basically all i'm saying is that if you have someone and it's worth fighting you know fighting for just keep that and you know tough it out with that person because from what i be hearing out there it's, it's it's terrible the dating scene is terrible but yeah that's all i had to say hey y'all what's up so i just wanted to come on here to say just to show up because i i um i'm trying to do like vlogs i'm trying to like vlog more hold on yeah i'm trying to vlog more and stuff like that uh, so y'all could see like my life and stuff because at first like I didn't really have much going on because I was going through something I think I mentioned that in a few videos before but like you know like I had like stuff to work on myself like mentally still working on myself physically still working on myself mentally as well please ignore this bump because I'm trying not to touch them I need pimple patches I see like a whole bunch of bumps just coming on my face like mm -mm. anyway so um yeah so like i've just been finding peace um i've already been like i've been like a peaceful person like very unproblematic out the way like not nobody's business after having my son and stuff like that like you know i had to work on myself mentally because nobody really prepares you like for what happens like for what you some women hold on let me fix myself i'm not saying that everyone goes through this um that's definitely not what i'm saying look y'all ever since i had my son like my chest my neck been so dark i'm trying to fix all that i just have hyper after having him during pregnancy and after having him hyperpigmentation said hello okay and you know anyways but yeah so not everybody goes through what i'm talking about some people go through it worse than i'm i've been through it and still trying to like overcome it um and other people you know don't go through it at all or they probably don't acknowledge it or nothing like that but yeah so i was saying like how um like i'm still working on myself 
mentally, um, spiritually, and physically, you know, all together, just all together, but one by one, if that makes sense. Individually attacking them. It's not like, like I'm doing it all at once. Like some days I take, I try to work out, get some movements every day because I do work from home. So I try to get movements um, every day, every single day, whether it's yoga, whether it's walking, taking a walk with my son, pushing him around um, the complex. It's a pretty big complex. So I go about four times. I go around about four times and then I push his stroller, which is like extra, you know, weight. And then I do go to the gym. I've started back going to the gym. So I just wanted to start off slow by walking and stuff like that. But um, basically I've been doing that. So that's every day. And then sometimes I, I have this book, this um, Jesus Calling book. And I love this book, y'all. Um, my sister bought it for me. I had asked her to buy it, purchase it for me, and she did. And I love this book. I, I got it around... I want to say eight, July or April, sometime around, well, how did I jump from July and April? I got it sometime around um, June, sometime around June. I got it around June and um, I think I got it around April. It doesn't matter, but I think I got it around April and I started reading from the day I got it. So it's, it's based on like, you know, the days of the... The days of the month um so each day you read it whether you read it in the morning in an, or in the night i like to read it in the morning when i wake up sometimes like during it it's like what time is it right now it's 4 45 i didn't get a chance to read it so i'm reading it right now and um yeah so i've been reading that An another book that i've been reading that i found at five below is called the peace book this one says, serenity is not freedom from the storm, but peace amid the storm. That one right there. That I like that one. Serenity is not peace. For serenity is not freedom from the storm, but peace amid the storm. And yeah, that's what this one is about. Um like I said, this one was from Amazon. My sister bought it for me. This was five below. And this one I got today at Walmart. And it is called Calm Your Anxious Mind. And boy, do I need this book. So I'm about to start reading this one today and see what it's about. I had already opened it in Walmart. And like, you know, it has, um, does it have, script? it has scriptures just like that first one that jesus calling it's like a devotional so they're both devotionals this one and this one are both devotionals and this one is just like a it's like teachings it says teach the peace book teachings from greatest minds of all time so yeah um yeah and i'm gonna start to read this one uh today and see what it's about so I'm, i've just been working on myself y'all honestly been working on myself i look raggedy i look raggedy as heck but it's okay just i'm working on my inner peace trying to find my inner peace trying to find myself again um it's hard work it's not easy um consistency is key and you just have to you know have to be consistent pray um to whoever you believe in you know, my I believe in God. That's my um belief, my personal beliefs. But yeah, um that's just what I've been doing. I just wanted to hop on here and say that. But I do believe I might have some like action going on. Oh, and I, I love listening to um what's this called? Like cafe music or jazz, smooth jazz, anything like that. Um meditation music you know that sort of stuff helps me you know my baby is sleeping inside i let him listen to them too um but he sleeps to like lullabies and stuff but anything mozart or beethoven i i, I lean more towards mozart than beethoven mozart to me is a little bit more calm um 
but yeah anything classical music like just puts my mind at ease like just gives me like a nice vibe i'm in my pjs she took a shower but um i got this from amazon by the way and it's in my amazon storefront yep your girl got an amazon storefront and um i'll leave that link in the description box for y'all if y'all want to buy this cute little um pajama, pajama set but yeah um i took a shower went to took my baby a, a shower we went to walmart we bought some groceries got the fridge stocked up um and yeah just doing this right now but yeah i made this bump is getting on my nerves i may be going to um do my nails my nails because i haven't y'all i haven't had my nails done in months i'm talking about probably when was the last time i had my nails done probably like march or something like that probably in march but yeah